And now let's apply what we've learned to determining a sample size for estimations around a proportion. Let's take a look at the formula that we're going to be using. And what you can notice as we look at this sample size formula is that we do need P bar. Just like we've seen with X bar, which is a mean, P bar is the average proportion. However, we cannot calculate the average proportion in a sample until we select a sample. And so we will do exactly what we did when estimating intervals around means. We're going to come up with a planning proportion. We will substitute that planning proportion, which is P asterisk, every place in this formula where we have a P bar. But how do we come up with this planning proportion? There are four ways that we could use. Number one, we could rely on previous research. If we can find a similar study, we could use the proportion from that study to stand in for this unknown proportion. Or we could rely on our own data collection, doing a pilot study in which we select a small sample, calculate the proportion, and use that as our planning value. Or we could rely on our expertise. The experience that we have as researchers teaches us something and we know what to expect in this particular population. But there's one more option that we have when we're using proportions, and that is to be agnostic. The flip of a coin, 50%. We could plug in a value of 0 0.50, which is a safe choice for our proportion planning value. And now let's apply what we've learned to that same proprietor of a cantina in a small desert town. Suppose the cantina proprietor wants to estimate a population proportion with a margin of error of 0.025 at 95% confidence. A previous sample of similar units yielded 0.44 for the sample proportion. How large of a sample size is needed to meet the required precision? And again, we will return to our intervals week 13 Excel spreadsheet. Look at the sample size tab. We are interested in the box labeled adequate sample size for proportions. And we can begin by plugging in our known values. The planning value that we will be using is 0.44. The desired margin of error is 0.025. As before, the probability is set to 0.05, giving us a 95% confidence coefficient. The sample size needed, therefore, is 1,514.5, which we need to round up. A sample size of 1,515 is needed to reach the desired position of plus or minus 0.025 at 95% confidence. And now you try it by changing the parameters. Increase the margin of error to 0.05. What is the needed sample size for a 90% confidence interval around this proportion? What is the needed sample size for a 99% confidence interval around this proportion? And once you have worked out these answers on your own, here are the correct answers.